Welcome to Awesome Code. Please subscribe to my channel. In this video, we will learn about validators of Python data validation library. First, we need to install by using a pip3 command. pip3 install validators and just hit enter. We have successfully installed validators library. Now I'm just going to clear the terminal and first I'm going to run Python 3 and here we are going to import validators. Import validators, hit enter. Each validator in validators is a simple function that takes the value to validate and possibly some additional key value arguments. Each function returns true when validation succeeds and validation failure object when validation fails. So first we are going to validate our email. We are going to check that our string uh, contains uh, uh, email or not. So this will be validators dot email and I'm just gonna pass in just an email address and just hit enter and we get the true so this is a valid email now I'm going to do validators dot email with the wrong email address and this will be some Edit. And just hit enter and now we get the validation failure so this way you can easily check uh, uh, or do the email validation now we are going to use validators domain function and yeah, it returns true if the domain name is valid otherwise validation failure so first we are going to use validator validators dot domain and we are going to pass in the correct domain name google.com and just hit enter and it gives us the true so I'm going to do validators dot domain and here we are going to Pass in google.com and forward slash. So this uh, should throw an error and we get the validation failure. We can also validate a IPv4 addresses. Yeah, the IPv4 function will uh, return uh, true if the uh, IP is valid and uh, throw the exception validation uh, failure if uh, the it don't match the IP before address so we can use valley validators dot IP address dot IP v4 and pass in the valid IP IP4 address then we want to save one and hit enter and we get the true value back now we are going to uh, give the wrong one and this will be just gonna change over here 980 11 and just hit enter we should get the yeah we are getting this validation failure error and same way you can check ipv6 by using validators.ip address.ipv6 we can also check whether or not the length of given string is within a specified range we can use a length and it takes parameter value which is the string to validate and a min value the minimum required length of the string if not provided minimum length 
will not be checked. And the max value, the maximum length of the string, if not provided, maximum length will not be checked. So let's try. So we are going to use ready data dot length and passing the string such so as car over here and our min value uh, it's set to two so at least three characters should be or the length of the string minimum length of the string should be two so our crack our strings length is three so this will return a true and now i'm going to change it to four uh, we are requiring that minimum length of our string should be four and uh, the car has three characters the length is three so this should uh, throw an error and we get the validation failure we can also validate mac address by using mac, uh, mac address function and we can use validators dot mac address and here we are going to pass in the correct mac address first and this would be the one see enter and we get the true as a return value and now I'm going to enter wrong MAC address just gonna change up to this one and change it. This gives us an error. You can also validate a URL. We can use a URL function. Validators dot URL and pass in first our valid URL. And you see the enter. And we get the true value back. And now the invalid URL and we get the validation failure. There are many more functions which you can use with this validator Python library. To keep on learning, please subscribe to my channel Awesome Code Keep Supporting Me and thank you for watching.